Today we're doing a service call to find out why a gym doesn't have audio. Yamaha uh, MG166CX. It's actually working. Um, I've got some in ears plugged into the left, right, and uh, I've got meters. I've got a phone plugged in all the way down there on the stage, and it's actually coming all the way up here, the way it was designed, through a old uh, Crestron. Funny enough, this thing is like working, and you can hear a switch happen down here, and whatever this thing is, the TV works, <laughs> all this stuff actually works. These have been running. These are Crest Audio CKS 800-2. Um, these things have been running their entire lives. And I just noticed the fan's not spinning. Okay. Like, I mean... Right? Just... Talk about rough. Um, I can get signal to this Rain Digital. A remote programmable multiprocessor. I think this thing is jacked up. It shows me input lights when music is playing, but I've got uh, output errors and I'm never getting input to my amps. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass this completely. I'm going to jump this input wire to the input here with no processing just to see if I get something. Back the rack here. Yeah, super fun. Um, I think this input here, I think I'm going, to, I'm going to pull one of these wires and I'm going to touch them to the input here where the daisy chain starts to take effect and jump down and around. So that's the goal. Is we're going to bypass this unit here all together and we're going to hit this uh, to do the processing. Um, because I don't have a computer set up. I mean, I don't have an, uh, an RW232. I just don't have that adapter, that a dongle. So I need to find a flathead where I can loosen this and just pull it out. So it goes red, black, ground in that order. I don't hear anything. All right, we're jumped straight from whatever that is. So I still have lights, still meters. Okay, <clears throat> I don't have A because I unplugged that cable and I plugged it into here, but I don't have signal lights. Um, the funny thing is, is like, this is the off position. When I turn that on, nothing happens the fan doesn't spin fan doesn't spin this one's off if I turn this one on lights up the fan will actually uh... I thought I saw the fan spinning on this one but like look even when I turn it off Nothing happens. <laughs> They're just on. Still. Uh, and then I even threw them in remote. But there's no remote wires. So... I'm starting to think that... 
These amps are bad. Okay, still have signal here. Uh, don't have the signal here again because I jumped it, like I said. I actually jumped it straight to this amp because, like, this fan is still spinning on position. No signal. Still. Let's see if this one turns off. I think these amps are just smoked. I think they're... I, th I would figure if they were in fault of some kind that there would be some indicator, some visual indicator. Uh, maybe that was uh, before my time they didn't do that. I don't know. But look, even in the off position, like they're still just on and running. Like, have these things soldered themselves and get together to where they just internally don't shut off? So, what I'm going to have to do then is I'm going to have to bring another amp. I'm going to have to bring another amp in. Amp. So I'm gonna have to bring another amp in, and then this cable here, I'm gonna have to put it directly to that, and then put these outputs to that amp, see if I get any kind of noise, and that will tell me if these are cooked. Um, so I'm actually, this wire is just connected to this, which is my signal wire, and then I should have this and this should be doing the low end and there's that there's no remote plug of any kind so it's not in remote I wonder if just like it's just dust and pots and stuff oh yeah these things are just cooked they have to be look at all these relays I mean center stage wall those are the input realize that's just that's incredible to begin with okay I'm gonna have to bring an amp in and do a test all right welcome back I'm gonna try to get uh, I'm gonna try to get audio in the gym today so what I've done I've got two MC squared t1000s here um, I've run an XLR um, through the room. What's up, Luke? What's up? Um, so I've got an XLR from the Yamaha from that room through this little area here into here. Uh, we're going to see if I can get signal light on this uh, top T1000. Alright, phone playing music on. Five meters. Okay, meters good. I'm right out of the what looks to be the left right out, the green end here. So let's see if I got it back there. Okay, so I oh so I have signal and then I even hit the limiter. Okay. So, I'm good from the Yamaha to here. Let's see if I can uh, pull these wires, hit the back here, and maybe I can, uh, maybe I can get some audio going. Uh, one of these cables to uh, connect in the back here makes some kind of noise. Okay, so we're bypassing all of this. We're going straight from here to the power amp. system processor are uh, faulty here 
my test amps. Uh, we got signal to one amp channel, which just so happened to be um, one box. They have three amps, uh, one for each horn, so that's why we're, we only have one horn working and one mid working. Um, so this is really just new amps, new system processor to get this system back and running, aside from some stage inputs. Um, we've got this switcher. This switcher here, and very old. I'm not sure if it's even still being used. Um, this is potentially an issue here, but that's an easy fix because it's mainly just grab it all and get rid of it. We have a highs and we have a mids, low mid, a high and a low mid, a high and a low mid. And then we have a, uh, this one is for, um, this one's hitting the lower speakers, the left side and the right side. So we are uh, five new amps and a system processor that does not run on RW232 control. I'm gonna take pictures of everything here, the connectors, so I can build a proper estimate with the right connectors and everything involved.